welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well today is going to be my nine month update for taking oral spironolactone and also using it on my face now so if you are new to these videos i'm going to link below all my previous videos about this the first one has the most information about the drug itself so if you don't know anything about that i would definitely start there but i am about to come up on nine months of taking oral spironolactone. I have a couple pills left and I just recently had an online check-in so that I could get my prescription renewed for the next three months. I sent in photos of my face and let them know how often I'm taking the medication, how it's been going, if I've had any side effects, all of that. So the doctor reviewed all of that and I've been prescribed a refill of everything just the same as it is. So I will be continuing with 100 milligrams of spironolactone and then my topical formula, which is 0.025% tretinoin, 5% spironolactone, and 5% tranexamic acid. They said that everything is looking good. Um, they just really encourage not picking at my skin, which like I mentioned in my six month update, that's like the hardest part for me. Cause half the time it's like a spot that's not even that bad. And then I mess with it and then it becomes quite a bad spot and it turns into a scab, which is not good for scarring or any of that. I will link my morning and nighttime skincare routine because all of those products have not changed. In my last video, I mentioned I got a new cleanser and I have been continuing to use that and it has not broken me out, which is good. So I've been sticking to a pretty simple routine outside of my prescriptions for the most part. So once I finish my next refill of pills, it will have been one whole year which is crazy. Looking back at all of my previous updates and photos of my skin, videos of my skin, it is vastly improved. There's obviously still room for growth, but I've already forgotten how bad it was six and nine months ago and one year ago. But yeah, for the most part, not that much has changed besides my skin getting better, which is good. I'm just sticking to my routines and with spironolactone too, it kind of is a waiting game for a while. So that is pretty much it for this video. I'm very excited for in three months when I'm going to be doing my one year progress update because hopefully it will be even better. Thank you so much for watching. If you've been watching since the beginning, that's really awesome. I have previously done a sponsored video with Apostrophe. That is where I get my prescription from. So I do still have the code. It's promo code Prisca for $15 off your first dermatologist visit and a $5 credit for your first medication order for new patients. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I hope it was helpful. Good luck on your own acne journeys, on your skincare journeys, and I will see you next time for my one year update.